Hi guys, it's Amy. I am recording my vlog for the Girl Behind the Blog Link Up series. This is my third time recording a vlog for this particular series. I did one, the, my very first vlog, way back in June, and I've done the last two, which were December and January. And this is definitely probably my favorite link up to participate in because of the vlog aspect of it. And I just wanted to say a quick hello to all my new followers. Um, it's been so exciting watching this vlog grow, and I know that um, I've gotten to meet so many new people through it in the last few months, and that has been amazing. So if you are a newbie around here, please comment so that we can get to know each other more. I would love to start reading your vlog and um, really develop a friendship with you because I have some of my strongest friendships that have come from this vlog, and I'm so thankful for that. So if you're a newbie, hello, and if this is your first vlog of mine that you're watching, then I'm sorry I didn't get more prepared. <laughs> I had a plan to shower and get cute before this, and then I decided to stay in my workout clothes with my ponytail. So you guys get to see what I look like on an everyday basis. Um, and so something that's been on my heart. There's a lot of things that have been on my heart lately. Um, I think I actually, this past weekend, I went to a women's conference with a friend of mine's church. So it was a different church that I don't regularly go to, but it was just an incredible group of women. And the messages were, each time they just spoke to my heart so much. And there were several women who stood up and told their testimonies, which were just incredible testimonies of just how faithful our God is and how he really does change our lives when we surrender them to him. So um, over the course of the weekend, I actually completed my Bible in a Year challenge, which for me was a Bible in 14 months challenge. And um, I think something that is on my heart that I would love to share with you is just how much reading the Word has changed my life. It's, I feel like, an entirely different person from when I began really studying and applying the Bible to my life. And I started my Bible in a year on January 1st of 2012, and I just finished in February of 2013, and I can 100% say that I am completely different. And I did not do any of that. Um, it was all the Word, just, you know, when you read it, it's impossible to not change. You're just soaking it in, and Jesus is talking to your heart in ways that you don't even understand. And it's just incredible to really watch as your days go by and you start to notice changes and um, you start to feel closer to the Lord and you might even be seeing some things in yourself that you didn't know were there and it might be uncomfortable to kind of see that sin in your own heart but it's done in such a way that is our God is so gentle and kind that you feel so much better as you get to know yourself and as you get to see your struggles and really get to know the truth in the word um, that's our best gift from God, you know, is the word that is what tells us how to live our life. And so I guess that's just on my heart is I would encourage everyone to just really dive into it. And if you haven't already, pick up a Bible in a year reading plan. It's very, it's not very hard. It just takes a little bit of time each day and you can do like me and stretch it out for 14 months. But um, I would really encourage you to just dive into the word and be amazed as you watch your life change. And um, I'm going to try and keep this shorter, it's, so it's been almost four minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up. And I'm sorry if that was a lot of rambling, but I hope you, um, I hope the message spoke through it. So, I love you guys, and um, thanks for watching, and thanks for not minding that I look disgusting. <laughs> um, I hope you guys had a great weekend, and talk to you soon. Bye.